Last time on Total Drama Redemption Island, both teams were put against each other in the game of Tug of War. After one of the sides won, they were then tasked with solving a slide puzzle. If they could solve it in 3 minutes, they were able to get their team a point, and a harder slide puzzle would take its place. Agitated alligators had a good lead, but Stacy's talking ended up costing their team the win, sparing the ill-tempered Eva another day. Axel comes back to the island, and Eva seems happy to see her, rushing to her before regaining her composure a bit. Axel says that her trip was unsuccessful. Though she could stop herself from being eaten by all the animals, she couldn't save herself by getting an idol. Eva looks down saddened by that news, but Axel tells her that it's alright since she's still here. As long as both of them are here, they can't lose another challenge. Eva agrees to this, and in confessional, she says that Axel is really the only person she gets along with on this island, so she'd really like to keep her around at least until late merge. Brick is sitting, sad that his ally was voted out, when Trent arrives and asks if he's doing okay. Brick just says yes, but doesn't really elaborate on it. Trent sighs and tells him that it's going to be alright. He knows how hard Brick wanted this to work out, but it needed to be done. This doesn't exactly calm Brick's mind, as he didn't want Stacy gone to begin with, and Axel tells Trent to back off. Trent tries to defend himself, but Axel says that if he keeps talking, he will be eating through a tube, and he leaves. Trent in confessional asks what Axel's problem is. She's such a jerk for no reason. Maybe they should have gotten rid of Eva just to spite her. Trent is pissed when going back to his team, and Damien asks if he's okay, and Trent says no to that, saying that Axel threatened to harm him if he talked to Brick more. Damien sighs, and he says that means that Axel and Eva aren't open to an alliance. Trent asks why he would want to align to them at all, and Damien says that he doesn't trust Bierdo. He's seen Bierdo talking to Ella recently, and he's worried he's trying to convince her to turn on him. Trent puts a hand on Damien's shoulder and tells him to calm down. They may seem mysterious, but they're good at heart. Axel tells Brick that they are going to be picked off one by one unless they make a stand. They cast for his blood, so the next loss should be one of theirs. Brick asks how they can do that when they only have three members, and Axel says that's the fun part. They only need three members as long as the other team sends someone else to Boney Island. On the ravenous raccoons, everyone is enjoying the luxury treatment, and Sammy asks if they really have to go to another challenge, and Justin says that this just makes him want to win all the time. Dave says that they were the ones who contributed the least to last week's challenge, though, and Justin says that in the end, it doesn't matter if they're here with him. Dave is pissed off, and Joe comforts him, saying that they could vote one of them off if the need arises. Justin looks around and asks if anyone's seen Dumb, Dumber, and Dumbest around, and outside, Tyler, Wynn, and Raj are competing in physical challenges to see who is the most physically gifted one here. Before Tyler can win the foot race, the intercom distracts him, and he trips, falling face first as Wayne beats him. Chris then tells them that it's challenge time. This challenge is pretty straightforward. One team member will be locked in a glass pod, while everyone else must work to free them by collecting numbers. At the end, they must figure out what order they go in to release their trapped victim. Ravenous raccoons will have to sit someone out since they have an extra member. Joe says that's fine. Tyler will sit out. Tyler in confessional says that it's fine. She's saving the team's secret weapon for later. He respects that. Joe in confessional says that she only did it because Tyler would do worse than Brick. Dave offers to go, and so he is placed in the vat, while Ella offers to go, and she is placed in one as well. Water starts to slowly fill the pot, and Dave starts becoming hysterical, while Ella remains calm in the situation. They are then told they can go. Axel goes first, making great progress compared to B, who is struggling immensely. Axel gets back to camp first with her first number, and Eva goes next, not being as graceful as Axel, but still good. B finally returns just as Eva does, and Joe responds with an annoyed finally before going. In confessional, Joe says that due to B's weight, they are now at a huge disadvantage, and while B was going slow, she had to listen to Dave's whining the whole time. Trent goes next, and Joe is able to beat him easily as she returns with the flag, and Wayne goes next after getting a pep talk from Raj. Trent returns with the flag just as Wayne returns, and Eva tells Trent nice going for blowing their lead. Trent says that maybe if she was nice, she wouldn't have been the second contestant voted out in Total Drama history. Bierdo goes next and is doing well until he slips on the oil and hits his balls on it. Axel rolls her eyes. Raj tells Bierdo to walk it off, he'll be okay, before swinging and grabbing another number. Beardo gets up and grabs his number after that. Sammy goes next and she rocks the course while Brick is constantly being hit by the worst of it. Justin goes and charms the bears to not attack him as he climbs and swings to his number as Brick finally gets his number. The ravenous raccoons must now solve the puzzle and Dave rushes them to figure it out. Wayne in confessional says that he doesn't like Dave's negative energy and Raj says that it's a total bummer bro. Damien 
is the final member to return on the agitated alligators, and he assembles them by the order they were obtained in, and the pod opens. Trent tells him good job and asks how he knew that, and Damien just said that honestly it was just a guess. Joe is pissed off by the other team winning, and she puts the combination in, and Dave is released. Dave tells him good going, losing like that, before storming off. When asked who they'll send to Boney Island, Axel says that it's time to pay Joe back, and she sends Joe to Boney Island. Joe rolls her eyes and says that's fine, if Lightning survive that, she can too. Chris then says that he will see the ravenous raccoons at elimination tonight. At elimination, Chris says that marshmallows represent life. If they do not receive a marshmallow, they must walk the dock of shame, board the boat of losers, and they can't come back. Ever. But first, Chef, tell us why they may be eliminated. B. You were the most pathetic one in the challenge. If you could have gone faster, your team would have been in the lead by a mile. Tyler, you didn't go in B's place when you realistically could have and maybe even done better than B. Tyler in confessional asks how that is his fault when Joe made him sit out. And Dave, your negative emotions didn't help your team solve the puzzle and may have even made them worse. Dave scoffs at that and Chef says that that attitude is what he's talking about. Chris interrupts them and says that with that being said, here's who is safe. Wayne and Raj, Justin, Sammy, Tyler, and finally, B. Dave is shocked and he stands up, saying that that's fine. See if he cares, they just voted off the only one with brains on their team. On the boat, Dave says that he tried playing nice and this is what it gets him. If he comes back, he's out for blood, and his first target is his own team. And that's that for episode 3, what did you think? Question of the week, are you team Eva, Axel, and Brick, or team Ella, Trent, Bierno, and Damien? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.